Hi and welcome to my playhouse and this video is not gonna be about folding at home even though we are now number 101 and by the time that you see this video we should be in top 100 which I'm very excited about when I started the team on folding at home there were 250,000 teams there so uh, being among top 100 is pretty good so uh, yeah, thank you for all your hard effort if you have been joining in at the, at the folding at home. But now to the video. We picked up a package at my local package pickup place. And um, yeah, open sesame. It's, uh, it's not a big thing, but it's some Lenovo RAM. Lenovo! And it's some RAM. And it's for the tiny one liter Think Center M95Q, which has the Ryzen 5, and that's the 4650GE processor because it's a low wattage. So, um, a lot of people said on the video where I unboxed this tiny PC that I needed two sticks of memory because balancing and better performance if you have two sticks because the processor wants two sticks to blah blah. Yeah, I, I know, but. There is also something called money and I'm still licking my wounds from getting this PC and uh, getting the RAM on top of that was also expensive and um, Lenovo branded RAM that goes in the, the system uh, well, you get to pay for that this is almost a hundred dollars and it's just eight gigs of memory but I think we should do a little performance test uh, before and after we put this in see if it has any effect whatsoever. Okay, I have loaded up Cinebench 15 here, so let's uh, let's do the CPU first. I actually also want to see the the GPU. But uh, yeah, this is the AMD Ryzen 5 Pro 4650G with Radeon graphics. So uh, there is that, and it's um, it's fairly quick at this. It's a um, six core CPU, 12 threads, and it runs at 3.3 gigahertz. And the, the CPU speed is great. I don't have to paddle too much. And it beats everything else, even um, two Intel Xeon 5650s. It, uh, it beats those, so awesome. Let's try and run the graphics. I haven't tried that one. See how it does. 47.25 frames per second. It's not amazing, but it's not the worst thing either. So, uh, yeah. Um, should I make a note of that? No, the program will save it for next time. So, don't have to really do anything. So, I'm gonna take the. Com well, I'm disconnecting the computer and we're gonna see if, if the RAM I purchased, if that's gonna fit. Here it is on my old antique uh, worn down table. I have a little thing that I want to share. I have this tiny microphone that is plugged in here. It actually sits uh, right up here on the screen. It's a tiny little lapel mic that I can take take out of here, take it off. I just put it on with a piece of tape that I can attach to. I can put it on my shirt if I want to. But I couldn't get it to work with this PC when I just got it. Um, and that was because I was using this adapter from the company Rue that is producing the microphone and this connector has three connections whereas I found this one has four connections and when I plug it in like this it will actually pop up in the operating system that teased me for uh, for some time when I just plugged this in so yeah let's check the RAM that came come on comes with paperwork there looks like that one RX8 PC4 3200AA um, I hope this is gonna fit uh, let's check it out so to get in there's a screw on the back here and that's a uh, Phillips head have this amazing screwdriver where you can just swap it around very smart 
and you can get in. So you remove this screw there and then it's really the bottom that we need to take out but that needs to go out in front so we need to push this out of the way. Does that come off then? Yes. We don't actually have to take that off. There. And we'll just check the RAM that is already there. That is also in... This one is a Samsung 8 gigabyte 1RX8 PC4 3200AA. So the other one that we're going to be putting in... This one... Mm, double sided... Uh, oops, they are not exactly alike. So this one is a Samsung, this one is an Esco SK Hunic. So made in China, made in Korea. Let's see if they they will make it together. There, that's a very quick hardware install. They look very similar on the back here with all of this alike. So eh, they might come out of the same production line. They have some leads that look very similar and they have chips about the same place on both chips. So, well, all we just have some copycats here. So uh, let's pop the back back on. And we will fasten the screw again. It does not need to be tight. Although this is a system that you do not you do not get in here often. Um, you might be asking yourself, why am I only putting in 16 gigabytes of memory? Well, eight gigabytes of memory was plenty. I just wanted to see if it actually becomes faster when I put in 16 gigabytes and, uh, and this dual thing. So this is mostly for my testing purposes. I don't really need more than eight gigabytes of memory as it is, but uh, I, I could also have gone with two times 16 gigabytes or two times 32 gigabytes of memory. Two times 32 gigabytes of memory would cost more than the unit itself. But uh, yeah, two times eight is uh, fine so far. So I'll reconnect, see if we work. Still light in the box. It still brags of being a Lenovo. It still remembers that it had some updates. We have the same CPU, have 16 gigabytes of memory. Awesome. So uh, does the system run any faster? Yeah, that's the big question. I also ran Passmark on the last test before I put in the memory and it did 13,000 something why didn't I show you that? Damn it, and now it does 16,560. It has become way better. Okay, that sucks. Let's close that down. And start up Cinebench. Uh, we should be able to just run the CPU test. Why didn't we save that? It was 1300 something. Just finished up Cinebench. And it's 1300 something again. Uh, so that didn't improve, but the other one improved. 1386. Hmm. What about the graphics? Oops, that became way better. 81.04 frames per second. That's, well, the last one was 47 frames per second. So we got a lot more frames per second. And it beats a lot of these older cards over here. So. Yeah, that was pretty good. Hmm. So this number is really good. It's even better than the number they have uh, for the benchmark of this CPU online. Well, what am I doing? This is IBM. Let's uh... There we are. Lenovo. Sorry. Yeah, okay, it's not a ThinkPad, but uh, it's close enough. So online, the CPU scores 16,141. Um, this one scores 16,662, which is better. 
So let's uh, let's definitely save this. Just ran uh, the entire pass mark test on it, and it did really well. So the system all around ran 4,709, which is a among the 92% best. The CPU is among the 96% best. Graphics, uh, not as great. Uh, 2D graphics, that is, are around 66% best. 3D graphics, 62% best. Pass, the memory is about 91% best. And the disk is among the 99% best. So the disk is apparently very good. And therefore I of course have to run a speed test on the hard drive and it is very good almost 3.4 gigabytes per second read speed and 1.2 gigabyte write speed and yeah the smaller the blocks become the more wasted time there is in transferring the data but well even down here it looks like what you could expect from a normal SSD so all the people in the comments who said that I needed to put in an extra RAM block was right. This changes the computer from single channel RAM to dual channel RAM and that increases the performance. I didn't get the number from the first test. It was about 13,000 something and the second one was about 16,700 ish. Um, that actually makes a CPU performance increasement of 25%. The GPU in there also saw a really good performance increase, something like 90% or something, really good for just putting in an extra block of memory. So uh, yeah, definitely worth it, even though I've spent way too much money this month. We learned something good in this video, so please give the video a like down here. But other than that, just uh, thank you very much for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so you can see me again. And have a really nice day. Bye bye.